Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> he's he's a small town girl living in a lonely world. Greetings, moods. Click here with Cakey. What is up, ooh? And today we're back with another episode of One Shot, cause that's what the point of this is. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> intro? And uh, you can read that since you're god now. <laughs> the going back. Space, I forgot. Hey, glitch. Welcome back. Sorry, we keep abandoning you, my sm my my son. So we like totally walked past one of these things earlier, just like a staircase. We did. Yeah. Oh. This is this the library. It's a photograph of the cafe. Looks like it was a busy day. Do you want to go back and do that? <laughs> a photograph of a house in the Glen. Yeah. Looks like it was taken when people were still living in the ruins. Let's go back, cause look at that thing. Is this the end of this hallway? No, it keeps going. Just turn around and go back. We'll get there eventually. So like, is that a library or is it like the library? <laughs> What's the library again? It's some place we're supposed to go before we go to the tower. Oh. Do we go down here? I don't know. Yeah, yeah that was just the bathroom. But yeah. So where was the staircase? Uh, it was like right when we walked in. We just kind of walked past it. I don't remember it, but you're the one that edited the last episode, so I'll trust your judgment. <laughs> Store's locked from the inside. Okay. It's locked. So what is the cafe? It might have just meant a cafe. Maybe or, we were in the cafe. Maybe it's a cafe, not a library. Yeah. Maybe it's something in one of the other directions and we're doing it wrong. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Go down. The game has never had, like, super <laughs> specific. We'll figure it out. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. How old are you? Young enough that thinking that there's like an age in which you can drink coffee. Yeah, this looks like a cafe, not a library. Yeah. This witch has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. We're saving the world, it's fine. Just a trash can. You're just gonna <laughs> walk away from all the other refrigerators? <gasps> it's a sink. It's a fridge. Listen. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a cafe, not a library. A pile of large books. They look like phone books. A photograph of the city skyline. A photograph of some buildings. Pile of large books. Some of the pages are down to eat. Hi there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm hmm. This <laughs> is just so funny. I like your stuff. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will. When I see you again. Put it back with some railings. There, there. A pile of large books. A photograph of the mines. There are many robots at work in the photo, extracting large deposits of ore. A photograph of the tower. The sunlight makes it hard to make out much in this photo. Just a trash can. It's like a pot. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh, was that just... Okay. Well, that's what that locked one was. So it didn't matter that you walked past it. 
Wow. Well, it was good to check. That was it for this thing. <laughs> so it wasn't anything super important. This one has plants outside of it. A potted plant. A potted plant. This one has a pink flower on it. Oh! <laughs> Okay, if this person actual um, picture of Phil Lester's house, <laughs> be sure not to touch these. These are the plant. These are the plants have only. These are the plants have only recently sprouted. Okay. It's not easy for a plant to make it out there oh, these days. We've got these glowing lamps, but they're a poor substitute for the sun. Pots are labeled with different species names. Oh, the sprouts are stretching towards the sun. This tree has leaves. Ah, yes, true foliage is hard to come by nowadays. You hardly ever see trees like these in the wild anymore. And the ones you do see are pretty much all raised artificially by people like me, mostly for nostalgia purposes. Small tree with leaves, apparently they are rare. That's a phospho tree. Oh, like the ones we saw in the glen. I always wondered, where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? Oh, not at all. Although these trees are composed of a woody tissue, they're closer to grass anatomy lies. So the branches are actually leaves? Sorta. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor, that's the glowy stuff, right? Yep. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from before the sun went out. Without the sun to recharge them, though... Well, let's talk about something else. Empty flower pot. It's wheat. Why is it in a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the middle of wheat fields back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is, is usually grown in small, isolated plots, or in a flower pot. Ah, black clovers. Probably the only plant hardy enough to survive naturally outside the glen. Personally, I think they're really boring to look at. One of my customers really loves them, though. I think of all the black clovers I'm growing here f I think all of the cl black clovers I'm growing here for him, actually. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. Is this it's the friend? friend? It's the friend. friend. I wonder when he's coming to pick these up. It's the friend who probably wrote the book. So is it a tree? Only, Only in name. name. <laughs> I couldn't read what he said. Because you could quit. That's Stop the it! same dialogue! I didn't know. I didn't have a chance to read it. I did. <laughs> it's wheat. That golden color is quite something, no? Cactus. 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 It's a sink. A watering can. It's half full. Filled with plant clippings. It's a pink flower. The clover guy, he's actually pretty cool. He's an author and apparently he's some sort of big deal. Or at least he's really passionate about, a wo about his work. Tell us! I don't know him that well, though sometimes I stumble across articles about him in the news. I'd love to chat with him if I run into him again. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do, grew all of these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes. I'm supposed to plant the seed left behind by a plant lady, but the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about, yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Interact with trowel on ground. Most of the plants in our world tend to grow in the glen. Even if it's facing the flooding issues, it's still in better condition than the other two areas. The Barrens is... well, the Barrens. And Refuge City is barely has barely enough ground to stand on, let alone grow stuff. On a larger scale than this, I mean. A small gardening child, handle part is shaped like an owl? I get it. 
Look at his face. I love him. It's a chowl. Okay. A so chowl we owl. got dirt. Yes. I forgot to say, if that guy couldn't help us. Okay, so that's the end of that. And it act with some of the doors, just to make sure. Okay. I didn't even give this up. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's like, bye. <laughs> so. Now we can go back to dirt. Can we take the Roomba with us? I don't think so. Also, the floor here is nice. I like it. The graphics in this game are really good. They're so good, man. I remember when we first started this game and we were like, mm, unsure about it because it was weird and then we were like, we paid $10 for this and now it's like, this is a great game and when it's over, I will be sad. We're still causing turmoil with Raccoon, so that's fun. What? People are still watching Raccoon, Raccoon and being like, they are? in pain. Yeah, we keep getting comments of people being like, how dare you? This is Why is my collarbone making such a loud noise? Why are you hitting it, is the question. I just started doing it, man. This is the song that plays in the trailer. It's a jam. Game. What a bop. A bag of dirt for glowing plants. I hope this helps you grow a little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Water. Good thinking, Glitch. Water should help this seed grow. Hmm, the dirt's nice and moist now, but... What if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. So we need to find more water. I guess so. What other items do we have? We've got... The sun. I remember when we first read that, it's like a large light bulb. It's the sun, and we were like, okay! <laughs> that escalated! We've got strange journal, amber, magnets, feathers, scissors, and empty tube. Okay. We can fast travel, I forgot. Elevator deck. Thank the Lord. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Aw, oh, yeah. Part two. <laughs> oh. I feel like I've made a mistake, maybe. Okay, no, the music's back. It's a small tree. Hello, clock man. Good afternoon. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. I wonder why. Then, how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! <laughs> ah. Um. Have I made a mistake? Probably. <laughs> Oh. A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. It says it's locked. So it seems. This is a very important room, though. It didn't look like it was going to be this big of a deal. This is ominous. <laughs> Just a bit. Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of the world's population lives here. Don't be don't careful, be Nico. <laughs> I feel like we should have gone the other way first for some reason. Maybe. It's fine. It's 
very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. You don't even have like a three-story building. He's he's a small town girl, living in a lonely world. Okay, don't stop believing. What about you, Glitch? Where do you live? The suburbs. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's technically a city. Or I guess we so. Say someplace else. Say a city. A city? Like this? Wow. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting. Not really. It's kind of just like we're in the suburbs, so it's not like it's not like our friend's mom who lives right next who lives in an apartment right next to an art museum. You pretty much look out and you're like, there's some traffic. A tree <laughs> It's like there's nothing to do. Nothing in walking distance that's entertaining. It's like the we can walk of... down to an ice cream shop down the street. That's it, though. It's like the lack of eventfulness of the country and like the lack of scenery of the city. <laughs> except like this, except even the city has more scenery. The lack of nature. Yeah, I should say it's a fun place. <laughs> it's, it's, it's and really not. and kind of scary. No. The view is nice, though. Going downtown is pretty neat, though. And living in the suburbs is weird, because you're like ten minutes from being downtown, and then it's like, hey, look, you walk walked by a staircase. I know, I'm... Okay, fine. It's like you live, like, you're like ten minutes away from being downtown, where it's like, hello, giant skyscrapers, and you're also ten minutes away from being in a cornfield. <laughs> Where am I? That just leads back. What? <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> what? Okay. Did we go in a circle? Ma maybe. I'm gonna go down here. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna go back up. <laughs> <laughs> just click on the computer. No, we have I'm, to. I'm gonna just see if there's anything else up there. Okay. Even though we kind of went in a circle. Did we? Is this like a different area? Let's check. Let's. Because if we click on the this... thing and say if it says something different. Okay, no. Let's just try following this hallway out and see where we are. Okay. If it's the same place, then I guess we walked in a circle. That's wild. I'm like, we gotta investigate that for like five more minutes. Is this always there? Yeah, okay. How did we go in a circle? I don't know. Did we like turn around without realizing it? What is going on? I guess it was just supposed to be a circle and... You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Expose it to the void. Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? Uh. Fine, keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. We'll just take that and then a transparent sheet filled with numbers. Okay, so we can't actually select. Do we go up? Is that the void? I don't know. Go back up and like see. We might have to maybe the squares or something. I want answers in this game and giving them to me. One of the paths has a square, has a bunch of squares on it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm guessing we just went in a circle. And it just didn't look like it. This isn't okay. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so cute and pretty, and then it's just spooky, too. 
try exposing it to the void of this. I guess it's just a circle. Well, it's 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 one of the green ones. What? It's one of the green items. Uh huh. Which means it just we can't select it. It just right. It comes out when we need it. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's just a circle. Wild. <laughs> yep. There's computer demon. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. What is it? Why is it it's, here? It's weird because it's very threatening. But it's always ever, it's only ever been helpful. Yeah. Like, passive-aggressive, but helpful. It scares me. Is this the library? A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Free feel to you feel free to use, though. A staple. It's bolted to the table. So, apparently we need to use that. Some kind of computer terminal. Is there anything we can tape with this? A tape dispenser. If I cut off a piece of tape to keep it, it would just lose its stickiness. Anything you think we can use it on? I don't know. I don't think so. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing and... Could you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, never mind. So that's all the rules on this path. Need to remember that that tape exists. Yes. I wish we could run. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That did not work <laughs> before. My little Nayuming boy! So which path at- Hey, Void. How's it going? The square- Those squares again. Try selecting the item, I guess? Doesn't work. <sighs> Alright. Let's ask the computer. Why not? It's dumb and passive aggressive and I hate it. But it's the only <laughs> thing that actually gives us help in this world. You know, like it's weird and creepy and passive aggressive and it's definitely a demon. Definitely. But it's the only thing that helps us. Still clueless? Figures. Yes. Want another tip? There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. What? The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. What? I think it's talking about the computer, like the screen of the game. How, how does that work? I don't know. I don't- I don't know. Uh, what if we... Yeet. Oh my gosh! Yeet. Oh my gosh, you're a genius. Nobody got to see that fully, but she dragged the- the box with the game on it. Um to the edges of the computer and like it went off and like you could fit half of it behind like the edge of the computer and now it's got numbers on it. You were testing my patience. Do you really want the answer? No, we got it. Are you just here to waste more of my time? Yes. <laughs> Alright, well that happened. So let's take a looky. Oh, I have to do it again. Okay. Maybe like... Why don't you... I was hoping that maybe you could uh, make the screen bigger so people could actually like see what you're doing and get like the full experience, but you just keep doing it. Well, it says three six three zero one four. You write that down somewhere. Fight me. 
So what do we use that for? I don't know. <laughs> we can run. So one thing I think we've learned from the computer is that the answer is never actually fully inside the game. Yeah. It's always something to do. Because, like, the first one was, like, a document that was in a computer. The second one was... Which path do you want to go down? I don't care. The second one was the desktop, and now it's... <laughs> Nayum. Okay, so we can't go any further in that direction. And now there was the film that you have to drag off the computer screen. Oh, lord. That person looks so cute. I love them. Hello. <gasps> I love them. Friendly. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um... He didn't get it. <laughs> I've seen him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He kind of just rushes every uh, rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, then rushes back out. Mood. He, uh, really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, it's an important job, but nothing is worth the amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. Something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later. Oh, you're still here. Would you, um, like anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you. Well, don't be afraid to ask if you do get hungry. I'll be happy to make something for you. Okay. <gasps> it's an empty coffee tin. We got that now. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. A coffee machine. It's nearly full. Can we do anything with items so we can bind the magnets in the... Magnets don't stick to aluminum. I'm losing so much time, I'm not even timing it anymore. You voiced him last time. Yeah, I hate this. We can't. Ask him about it, I guess. Okay. So that one totally broken off. We can go down still. Oh. It's a bed. Good to know. Well, now what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Combine everything. <laughs> Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't even mean to click on the scissors. <laughs> it's all right. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangular shape, just like oats and crafts. Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Magnet. Well, let's find out. Button. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh wait, if I just folded the mag... What if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough? Magnetized button? Button with magnets loosely attached. Maybe tape it. Tape the magnets. Tape the magnets. Tape the magnets. Nayumi. <laughs> A 
tape dispenser. Oh, of course, I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Glitch. Taped button. The magnets are secured with tape. That looks- look at it in the corner. That's like the worst button. Who cares? We did a thing. Should we leave already? I mean, what about like the thing up- like, what about the garden? Uh... It's an elevator. We could probably come back. Do you want it's to just never... leave this here for now? It's never... Yeah, we can leave it here, but it's never sealed us off from part of an area before. That's true. Only the areas we've already been. That's true. Let's use this bed. Okie dokie. Alright, guys. Well, if you like this commentary, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Nerd Herd. It's a dysfunctional place. We hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Bye!